Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcastage. My name's Banjo and I'm back with another microphone test video for you guys. Today I'm testing out another one of these guys, or these guys. This is the Aspen Mics HQM mono lavalier microphone. I was also planning on testing this out. This is Aspen Mics quarter inch power adapter, which takes a single double A battery, but I'm gonna go ahead and order some adapters and see if I can find a really cool use for this. So I'm gonna test this out in a separate video. So let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. Obviously you're gonna get the lavalier microphone, which is a 54 inch cable and goes into a mono plug. You also get a pretty small lapel clip, which is really nice when you're trying to hide a microphone. You also get two foam windscreens, which once again, I am not using right now. You also get a metal carrying case. You also get a quality assurance checklist telling you and showing you that a human being reviewed the microphone before sending it to you, which I love because that tells me that this company actually believes in their product and they want to make sure everybody gets a good and functioning microphone. And also this microphone comes with a freaking five year warranty, which is just incredible. I really like having a little carrying case like this because if I'm out filming, you can just store it in your pocket, pull it out and you have access to it and you don't have to worry about the lavalier mic breaking while it's in your bag or anything like that. Just really intuitive and a nice use of a little metal case. I like it. So the build quality of this thing is pretty standard for a lavalier microphone. It is a 54 inch or 137 centimeter uh, rubber cable that goes into a mono plug. It has a metal lapel clip and up here the microphone capsule and the tiny little screen on top is metal also. The polar pattern of this guy is omnidirectional so I'll go ahead and spin it around in as many different orientations as we can to see how it performs. Now I am banging on a keyboard and talking to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Although it's an omni mic so it will pick up quite a bit of the keyboard. Also, the frequency response of this microphone is listed as 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is pretty nice. I also have to note this does require plug-in power to work. The standard operation voltage is 2 to 10 volts, so whatever device you're using needs to be able to provide between those voltages. If you go over, you might destroy the microphone, and if you provide under, the microphone most likely just won't work. So this entire time we have just been plugged into one of the new Sabrent USB audio adapters, which provides maybe two, two and a half volts to the microphone, but we're gonna go ahead and test it on a couple different platforms and see how it performs. As I mentioned, this is a mono microphone and I am recording this directly into the Zoom H1. And as you can tell, it's only coming out of one speaker, so you would need to make some adjustments in post. Okay, now I'm plugging the microphone into the quarter inch power adapter, which is then plugged into the Zoom H6, and that's what this sounds like. Now I'm plugged into the Xenix 302 USB using the quarter inch power adapter, and that's what it sounds like. Okay, right now I am plugged directly into the microphone input on the Canon T6i, and as you can hear, it's only coming out of one speaker. So once again, you'd have to make adjustments in post for this to work. Okay, now the HQM is plugged directly into the GoPro Hero 3 using one of those 3.5 millimeter adapters. Something tells me you're only hearing it out of one side of the speaker, so chances are you're gonna have to make adjustments in post again. So overall, I think it's a pretty good sounding microphone. Um, as you could tell, there are some issues using a mono microphone since most devices require or are set up for stereo. So unless you have an actual need for a mono microphone, I would recommend going for the HQS, which is the stereo version of this microphone. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good sounding microphone for relatively cheap and as I said I would recommend this microphone but only if you have a designated or specific need for a mono microphone if you don't I highly recommend checking out the HQS which is the stereo version of this microphone which I will link in the video description down below as well all right well I guess that will do it if you do have any more questions about this microphone leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can if you are interested in this microphone or the stereo version 
version. Links to both of those in the video description as well. If you found the video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. But if you thought it sucked, give me a thumbs down. If you want more, click subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner. And also, don't forget to vote for the microphones you want reviewed next. And also follow me on all the social media stuff down in the links below. All right, guys, well, I guess that'll do it. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.